So today we're going to be talking about uh, the Azure certification roadmap. This is a question that I've been asked so many times uh, after the previous videos that I released that, okay, which certification would be suitable for me after maybe AZ 900 and should I go with 104 or what? So what I did is with this video is that uh, I'm going to be explaining what kind of certifications would be suitable for the beginners, intermediate and advanced people, right? So we're going to be breaking it down into three major categories and one fourth one is for the specialists in a particular field. Um, I'll be explaining uh, I'll be explaining what kind of job should you be doing in order to be pursuing the certification. Should you be an IT person? Should be, you be an architect or a DBA or stuff like that? So we are going to be discussing all of that as well. So let's get into it. So over the past few years, right, uh, Azure has uh, or Microsoft have made uh, the Azure certifications a lot more diverse and role based. So we're going to de deep dive into each one of them, right? We are going to dive into each one of them. Let's do it for the beginner, right? So if you're a beginner and a beginner would be somebody who's absolutely new to IT or new to or new to cloud or a, a person who's who has nothing to do with IT from sales or marketing, right? So this is these are the certifications targeted at these people. So the first certification I would suggest for everyone is AZ-900. No guesses, right? So AZ-900 is the fundamental certification in Microsoft Azure that's going to help you a lot, right? If you're going for sales marketing job or if you're fresher in IT, do go with it. No previous experience required. This is literally for everyone, right? Uh, in order to be able to clear the certification, you could, uh, spend i would suggest two to three weeks i wouldn't suggest that just study for one week and take the exam i have a video about clearing az 900 you do watch that right so uh anyway so uh that's the most fundamental exam if you want to go uh another fundamental exam of azure would be ai 900 if somebody wants to learn ai right somebody wants to learn is interested in ai ml and does not want to do a deep dive ai 900 is something that you can read about right anyway Moving on to the intermediate or moderate difficulty certificates, right? These are not super difficult examinations, but they're not very easy either, right? So who are these targeted at uh, for some IT people or uh, for somebody who's been working in IT, who's a club, who's maybe uh, has some experience in cloud, right? You may have some experience in AWS or maybe a developer or engineer or an administrator in your organization. So that's whom it is targeted at, right? So the exams are, first is AZ-104. What is AZ-104? It's the Azure admin exam that you can take. Uh, not a very difficult exam, a moderate one at that, right? So it's slightly more difficult than a AZ-900 and slightly less difficult than the architect exams, right? So uh, who is this targeted at? It's targeted at somebody who's an IT admin somebody who's an engineer, somebody who is maybe an administrator at GCP or AWS, you have to have some experience of that. So then uh, this kind of becomes a great exam for you to take. Next up in the moderate exam list is the AC204. AZ204 is an exam that you would be taking if you are a developer, super important. I get a lot of these questions from developer, which exams, which exam should I go for? If you're a developer, if you have any development experience, go with AZ204, that's the best exam for you. Whether you are uh, into application development or you are into cloud development in AWS or something like that, it's going to be an exam for you. Uh, next moderate or intermediate exam that I would uh, suggest is AZ500. What is AZ500 is Azure security exam, right? So this is basically for uh, somebody who's interested in security, right? You can be a security engineer technically, Azure security engineer. So this is targeted at admins or engineers in the organization or security people, right? Who are involved with security. If you are taking, if you want to take any cloud security exam, this is something that I would definitely suggest. So it's not difficult, difficult. It's a little more theoretical than uh, having uh, some practical uh, information, right? So for security consultants, engineers and administrators is at 500, right? how long do these exams take right how long does the preparation for an intermediate or moderate exam takes um, in my opinion it will it should take you it should take you somewhere around four to eight weeks uh, why four to eight weeks because it's uh, it's quite a lot to understand actually quite a lot to understand and study and then you would 
go into the exam mode study particularly for the exam so four to eight weeks is a realistic timeline would not suggest anybody taking lesser time than four weeks next up we have the expert level examination or more advanced examinations of Microsoft Azure, or more exam advanced tests that you can take. First in line would be the Azure uh, architect exams. There are two of them, right? So, and you have to take both of them, 303 and 304. AZ 303, AZ 304 are architect exams. 303 is architect technologies. It will give you a brief overview of uh, what's there in Azure and what you can use as an architect, right? What kind of products are there? Uh, the second exam, AZ-304, is slightly more difficult than AZ-303. Uh, 304 has a designing part of it, right? What would be the best practices? What would you do if you are actually working in an organization as an architect, right? So that would be an exam that you would be targeting. How difficult are these exams? pretty difficult right so advanced exams actually are targeted they have a target audience of uh, either people who are experienced in Azure you have maybe two or more than two years of experience working with Azure or maybe you're a cloud architect with GCP or uh, AWS it's very easy to actually go cross-platform with cloud environments right so if you're an architect with some other cloud platform of course try this out uh, or if you're a DevOps specialist right so these advanced exams are point at those so first two 303 304 architect exams right you need to clear both of these exams in order to get the certificate right in order to be certified as your administrator right oh uh, my bad certified as your architect uh, anyway next would be uh next would be in the advanced exam list and is a said 400 right which one is AZ400? AZ400 is the DevOps exam that Microsoft has. So DevOps engineer expert, right? So what Microsoft suggests is that you take either a 204 or 104 before this, that are the intermediate exams or moderate exams that you need to take. Take those exams, take the AZ400. This is meant for people who are either uh, developers, advanced developers or DevOps specialists, right? If you are more into, uh, if you're more into uh, the administrative part, this could be a little bit of a difficult thing for you. I would suggest if you're into administration uh, and you want to change to an expert level, go with an architect exam rather than this one. But for developers, you can try this out. Absolutely a great exam to take. Kind of difficult, but yeah. Uh, what would be a, a suitable timeline for this exam that I would suggest? It's somewhere around two to four months. Now, this is a realistic timeline because these exams are kind of difficult these tests are genuinely difficult. Uh, if I take 303, it's moderately difficult. I would not say that's super difficult, but 304 designing part, studying would be kind of easy, but when you take the test, it, you'll realize that, hey, this one is something, right? Same as with 400, 400 exam is known to be kind of difficult. Uh, so two to four months of preparation, depending upon where, uh, your strengths lie, right? So you can take these advanced or expert examination examinations, right? Now the fourth category, right? Yeah, apart from the beginner, intermediate, and advanced, the fourth bonus category is for somebody who's looking at specializations. These are not generic as your exams that we are going to talk about. That's the fourth type of exam is a specialist exam. Now, which ones are those? Uh, if you are into AI or ML, right, if you're into machine learning or automated intelligence, you can go with AI 100 or AI 900. Uh, AI 100 is basically as your AI engineer is going to tell you about what's there in Microsoft as your, uh, what's the AI things, that are, what, what are the uh, things that are available in the AI platform of Microsoft Azure and how to, how to deploy them with uh, your current infrastructure. That would be the AI exam. So 100 and 900, 900 would be the fundamental of AI. Uh, for somebody who's seriously into this field of AI and ML and wants to delve into Azure, I would suggest skip AI, one, AI 900. You don't need that fundamental exam because 100 kind of covers everything that 900 does as well. So 100 would be an engineer certification, so uh, or an intermediate or moderate certification. So that will take some time as well. Now the next specialization, I would say anybody who's an SAP administrator, anybody who's a specialist in SAP, right? The exam is 
a z 120 right so what's a z 120 is as your for sap workloads it's a specialization you don't need to know a lot about azure you just need to be really good at sap in order to take this exam so if you're an sap admin you're looking at a job that's also going to employ azure or you're looking at migrations sap az 120 is something that you're looking at also kind of a moderate exam uh, almost all these certificates specialist certificates are moderate exams right so with that out of the way the next specialization the third type of specialization that i would suggest is the iot specialist right so any iot developers in the house anybody who's working on internet of things we have a specific exam for you that one is iot on azure right so azure iot developer is the name of the exam and it's az 220 it's another it's another specialist exam so as an iot developer you're going to look into this exam again a moderate one uh, has kind of a reputation of being slightly more difficult than uh, usual moderate exams are but yeah anyway uh, it's not undoable though uh, now the next one and uh, next specialization i would say is for just the people who are into data sciences or data engineers or are simple database administrators looking to go into something that's on cloud right uh, so basically uh, if you are slightly moving away from your uh, regular database infrastructures you may be interested in dp200 series 200 and 201 or dp100 series so these exams are for data science and data engineering on microsoft azure so uh, if you want to study about like what are uh, the new types of databases how the data can be managed data lake and all that stuff so if you go with uh, something like a DP100, that's a single exam, uh, data scientist. And if you go with DP200 and 201, those are supposed to be taken together. And those are the data engineer exams that you can take. In order to take some advanced exams like Azure Architect, both the exams, you have no prerequisites, nothing you have to do beforehand, no need for AZ900 or stuff like that. AZ900 is all is optional for almost all exams right they just want you to know it but it's not something that that's mandatory in the that's mandatory in the certification life cycle it's it's just not in the certification path for anything so uh, for expert exams 300 and 300 uh, sorry 303 and 304 300 series there's no prerequisites they are just prerequisites to each other uh, for something like az 400 the prerequisite are either 104 or 204 so it's up to you which path you want to take to az 400 as well so here we go this was the list and the path of all the azure certifications that we can go with right uh, if you have any queries do write them down in the comment section i do read them and respond to them and uh, you can just email me or you can just uh, drop me a message on my number that might be flashing on your screen at the moment and feel free to sh uh, feel free to uh, check out the other azure or cloud related videos that are on this channel that may actually help you to clear some of these exams right uh, so i'll see you around i hope you i hope you find this helpful thanks a lot